What's up today, my fellow mass soldiers? So what I'm gonna be doing right now is showing you guys how you guys can level up fast in Madden 25 today. So without further ado, please drop a like on the video and let's go ahead and get this started. All right, for those who don't know, every single week, um, these objectives, they update every single week. Sometimes I forget the day, I think what's it was Wednesday. So I'm assuming it's every Wednesday. I thought it was Tuesday. I tend to forget whatever the case may be. I was just going across because every single day I come over here to my daily objectives and I see what um, I need to get done for my dailies. And I just happened to stumble upon this week too. So I got a little excited. I'm not going to lie because I want to level up my stuff fast. So I figured I'd go ahead and do a video on to it on, on it today just to remind people that it's right here. So if you guys want to level up a lot faster today, you guys can because we got these objectives. So they're right here. There's rushing yards. So how much rushing yards we need? We need 2,500 rushing yards. We need 12 interceptions, 400 kickoffs, and then 30, 30 sacks. The thing I do like about this is the fact that as you go down, you're going to continue to get XP all the way up and towards the end. So it ain't like you got to get the 2,500 rushing touchdowns right away, which they've been doing. So that, that's the win. But the reason I bring that up, if you go to your daily objectives, they actually add that concept to daily objectives. And I told you guys, it's very rare, but that's an EA win in my opinion, which I haven't been saying that too much lately um, because, you know, they've been doing a lot of crazy, funny stuff. But the thing is, this is a this is a win because once again, if you happen to go online or if you happen to play a, a solo battle or whatever the case may be, whatever it is, and you don't you're not able to get the 25 completed passes that day just because you're busy or something. Hey, at least you'll get some type of XP for it and it will help you guys out. Right. So that's cool. Matter of fact, two of these today are for completed passes. Um, so that's actually going to be good. Let me come over here. And I'll break this down to you. And then after this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and check out the market. There is a few players that actually are, I'm going to say what players, but there's more of a few positions that went down that I want to go over and talk to you guys about that I felt that was very important. So I'm going to go ahead and go over that right now. But once again, just make sure you guys come over here and keep in mind. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. see, I was about to say something. I, I was about to lie by, 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 by accident, I guess you could say. Anyways. So two of these tracks in head-to-head -head solo seasons are solo battles, right? I thought, all, I know your daily objectives, they track in any mode. So I got, I almost, I almost got a little confused right there. So I guess I do got to go over this. So keep in mind, these two right here, the rushing yards and the recording interceptions tracks in head-to-head, -head, solo seasons are solo battles, which a lot of us think we go to solo battles. I put on the lowest difficulty because there's no rewards from solo battles like that. So it's trash. So what I do is put on the lowest difficulty and just knock these out. So go ahead and do that. And I guess on these two modes, I'm sorry, on these two objectives, you can complete them in any mode. So that's a good thing. So let me go ahead and back out. All right, so I'll give my little XP for the day. And then uh, let's go over here. We're gonna go to the auction house because there is, there is things I wanna speak about in here. All right, so one thing that I did realize when it came to the line, matter of fact, let me back out and go to my line so I can show you guys what I'm talking about when it comes to my lineup. So this is the reason why I got familiarized with certain positions going down is because all my offense is cool. I end up with a wide receiver no matter what. I got my legend tokens. I might get the ultra single, but my lineman, um, I eventually want to get them all up to a 90. I figured that, that I could, I'm going to be able to because the market is dropping. But what I noticed what I noticed a while back, which, well, actually a few days ago, is that the, the, the linemen happen to go for a lot more than the average 90 overalls. So if you go find a 90 overall wide receiver or a halfback or a quarterback, they're very cheap. They're like 120, 130, 150, 150K, right? The linemen usually go for like 200, 250. They usually go for more. But there's one position um where i put it like this the, the 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 lineman position are starting to go down in value and i seen one actually went down dramatically and keep in mind i always do this so let me go over here i know the prices because i always check out the lineman and I, I i showed you guys in one of my videos how high they were so if we go to right guard i think the right guard one was the one that went down so yeah see He's, Will shows it down to 143. This guy was up to like 200, 250K. So this is actually not a bad price to pick up a right guard if you guys need one. It's actually starting to, to um, 
coincide with the other 90 overalls, right? So I start to see this and I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait just a little bit more because when I wanna when I upgrade my old lineman, I'm not gonna lie, I wanna I wanna just get it done that day. I just wanna upgrade the whole thing. So I, I'm gonna wait just a little bit personally because I wanna upgrade all at once, but um, once again, I feel that this is a decent price for a right guard because a lot of the linemen are up in, they're, they're up in value. So 143 is not bad uh, for a 90 overall right guard. So check out these other, these other, uh, where is it at? Right tackle. So here's the thing about this. This is crazy, right? Just yesterday, this, this right tackle was down to 200K and I still thought that that was a lot. I was like, that's a lot. Now look at it. It's all the way up to like, we'll say 280K. It's 278K, but I'm gonna, to even it out, I'm gonna say 280K for a right tackle. I definitely wouldn't buy that. But once again, though, it went all the way down to 200K and I still didn't wanna get it because I'm not gonna pay for it. Now you overall, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pay. I don't mind paying just a little bit more, but I'm not paying that much more. It's not worth it. So I always tell you guys to stay away from that. Unless you guys could find this right tackle for 150K or less, stay away from it. Maybe 160 just because if it drops that low, why not? But besides that, I would not touch it. And then the center. We'll go over the other positions too, but I'm just going over positions technically that I was looking for. So this Kevin Maui actually went down a little bit more because he was a solid 210, 220K. And I even see him go down as low as 200K. This car right here, someone put him up for 190K. Not too, not too bad, but once again, I would wait because I know these positions are about to go down a lot lower in value. And the reason why I say that is because they're gonna, there's going to be more of these positions releasing. That's the reason why what's keeping a lot of these positions high in value is because there's not so many centers in the game, as you guys could tell. There's only 190 overall, and then all, automatically goes to a 92. So therefore, the value of these 90 overall um, linemen, like the center, goes up. So the, the, once they start releasing more into the game, the value of these linemen will actually go down. All right. So now let's go to these other positions. Go to left guard. See, this is ridiculous. There's no way. And this is a redux. There's no way I will pay this much for a right guard. There's no way. My right guard, I'm cool. I think mine's like an 88 or 89. That is, and I think I got them for free. I'm going to have to go check right now in a minute. I totally forgot. Um, I'll go check them out. And then the left tackle. 250. First of all, none of you guys should be spending this much for a left tackle. That's another reason why I didn't go through the left tackle is because we got John Madden. We're going to be able to upgrade him up to a 91 overall, so that's crazy. So the positions that honestly a lot of you guys should be lacking. Let me see this guy real quick before I say anything else. Um, oh, this guy was free. So I don't know if you guys upgraded him, but if you guys didn't, then the positions you guys should be lacking is a left guard, center, right? Um, right guard and right tackle. No one should be la lacking on the left tackle, but honestly though, whoever didn't take the opportunity to upgrade this left guard when he was available for very cheap to upgrade him with the fear, um, that was a missed opportunity because to me that was a good deal. That's why I upgraded him. But either way, once again, the right guard is the cheapest one up right now. The center seems it's going down a little bit, so I, I know he's gonna go down a lot more, pick him up, but if you guys do wanna upgrade your old lineman, then um, little by once again the right right guard is is available right now for very cheap. I would pick them up, and little by little start upgrading these other ones once the prices go down. Because once again, these prices are going down. You see right now that people are little by little starting to post up certain cards and uh, and put them up for a lot cheaper. So that's one thing I want. I wanted to mention to level up faster for today. What's going on? And also these linemen that are starting to go down value if no one is paying attention because I've been paying attention. So I just want to let you guys know that. So anyways, there it is there. Please drop a like on the video until next time.